Okay, welcome everyone to the game of the week. We analyze the game together, hopefully you learn something and we're gonna see very cool games. The game of this week is a game I played against a Hungarian player, Sabi, um, in the um, High Fair Play Cup, a team tournament that is currently ongoing on board space. Um, this game was very cool, uh, let's get straight into it. So he played a pill bug opening and uh, um, I played a standard black opening, but with a twist. So now I add build back with the idea of playing a buffer. Um, however, I decided at the very last moment to play a kind of very unusual opening that has been played um, only probably in the last months. What you usually would play will be a Z opening or a buffer C opening or a buffer Z opening. This one is, um, probably we can call it Grand C opening. Um, uh, the interesting thing is that there are two kill spots shared between the two queens. So you think you might increase um, a lot of the chances of the draw, which is probably true. But at the same time, it's very easy to trigger um, this um, ladybug to get out through basically there is already an X trap in play whenever one of the two kill spot is taken the ladybug gets free and this makes a lot of tactical options available as we'll see during the game so white goes for a mosquito attack straight on i need to add some ants sooner or later otherwise i'm gonna i'm gonna die very soon um Another interesting aspect is that I can place this ants here without uh, being close to the queen. Um, so I go with my ant farm. I need to pin something as well, of course. Um, now it's an interesting turning point um, of the opening. Um, I decide to pin the ant, but another option would have been just to place another ant here. Uh, with the idea of keeping both ants, uh, like mosquito and ant, ready to pin another um, a beetle incoming. While I uh, basically um, took the bait, uh, what I played was yeah pinning the, the ant and then white decided to play the beetle down. So uh, pinning the beetle now would be a waste of tempo. And... Um, it might be still a good idea, actually, um, because after pinning with the beetle, I can climb up the beetle and shut down the mosquito, so the mosquito wouldn't have any beetle power. But it's still a loss of tempo, so um, you, you need to calculate this, um, like to evaluate this uh, properly before doing it. Uh, I decided to go for a bit more straightforward plan, <clears throat> so just use a beetle to be ready to uh, cover the beetle once the beetle will cover my queen. So, um, yeah. And I've got time as well to put an ant down. Actually, I probably should have put an ant first to threaten the beetle and then the beetle afterwards, but it doesn't, um, it didn't make a difference in this case. There's a second beetle that I, I think I need to pin now. Um, otherwise, two beetles on, on top of the hive would be a bit too much. Um, I've thought about playing a beetle here, but the problem is that after um, a situation like this, I start to feel also my own kill spots, um, and the white queen can actually escape here and free the ant at the same time. Um, maybe it's still playable, but a bit uh, unclear. So I decide to um, just use my ant to pin the beetle. And at the same time, I create um, a gate here um, for my kill spot, which is also white kill spot, but um, this is the nature of the opening. Um, so white decides to shift the pin to beetle, makes sense, so that I cannot recover. Now I played just a, a little move. Um, it seems um, useless because the ant can move up here and I haven't achieved anything but in many cases the ant here is um, is less um, like is in a worse position than the previous one um, 
for example, I could pin here and now I have got another gate here in place compared to the position here where this space here, this skill spot here is way more um, available to white. Um, <clears throat> so it's a little move. And you, also you can force actually um, a pocket again um, to be sure 100% to cover, um, to recover the beetle once the white beetle goes here, right? Um, so this is another idea. The problem is that you have to, you have spent, like you, you used two ants to do that. <clears throat> so I decided actually to go for something a bit different. Um, what I did is uh, simply uh, go for a pin replacement using the spider and be ready to use the ants um, to pin other incoming uh, pieces, attacking pieces. So yeah, I cannot recover. Another problem of this is that this kill spot here is available to a direct drop. Um, and of course, it's also kill spots for white, but um, white has got many more liberties at the moment, so it's not risking really to lose um, in the um, in the short term. Um, lead back here, um, as we said, trigger point, so the black lady bag is free. Um, now we start to see um, the theme of the game, which is how to control the outer hive. So white went for an attack from uh, in the inner hive, um, but at the same time he leaves control of the outer hive to black. Um, it seems very dangerous for black, but at the same time white doesn't have any spawn points outside, so it's not clear how we'll continue to attack. Uh, black has got two free ants, and anything that white would place here or here um, south um, will be pinned. Um, so uh, now needs and like to think carefully what to place next. Um, so after a hopper and after I pin the hopper, um, now literally there are no more places. Like you, you could go here, but then uh, I would just again pin it and it seems white is running out of material as well. It's got only two spiders, but clearly spiders are not the best to get into the gates. Um, the pillbug cannot warp anything in there, and there's only one grasshopper left. Um, you might create a ring, but then the beetle will just cover the white beetle, and then nothing is achieved again. Um, <clears throat> so actually, white went for probably the best move, which is just go straight in. Um, why? What's the idea? The idea is that you feel this, this space ne um, necessary to free the mosquito. So after I cover, actually mosquito can recover, and now there's a direct drop here. And I cannot really mm, mm, prevent this direct drop, um, any in, I mean I could potentially, but then I um, give up a bit of, um, a bit of mobility. Um, and I'm not sure, uh, actually, maybe, maybe it was not that bad, maybe it was, it was an okay move. Um, probably white should go, no, but we should, white should um, reposition a bit their pieces. Now there's another direct drop here, which I could uh, prevent. Um, but uh, white has got a, a few more spawn points now, at least. For example, here, or something around here. Um, it's a bit different game, but uh, it was definitely possible. I mm, thought instead that this ring was too dangerous, so I decided to just go on with my uh, strategy, which was control the outer eye. Um, just give the dark drop to, to white. Um, fine, I didn't think uh, it was uh, decisive, but uh, inside it was probably very dangerous. Spawning a spider was probably not the best choice. The reason is that um, if you spawn a hopper, the hopper can then um, jump in uh, whenever, um, well, jump sorry, jump out whenever needed, and um, it basically you you have some chances of rearrange the pieces around um, <clears throat> the black queen. But once you do with that with the spider, the spider is stuck there. So now there are definitely no spawn points for Y to use. Um, <clears throat> and uh, um, so I decided to 
go for a counterattack. Um, I need to cover the white queen or the pill bug to win. Um, or um, there were actually some ideas of um, choking the pill bug as well, like surrounding the pill bug as well, since the pill bug is already has already three liberties taken. <coughs> so let's see how it goes. This is probably the only choice from for white. Um, it might have played something like this, um, but then I'll just move the pillbag around and I can extract this end out and it uh, looks good for me. So uh, no, I, I, I think this move was okay. Um, and the spider uh, takes control of the only new spawn points that white has created. Um, so I, I, I have to use a spider for this and um, self-pin my ant, but I think it was worth it to avoid um, more pieces to come in. I mean, the the, the threat, um, the direct threat was clearly this one, and then Hopper comes in and the mosquito down and win in two. Of course, I can still um, I can still uh, spin at this point, but then I open other spawn points here, and uh, it's probably fine for black, but I didn't want to calculate um, everything, so I just decided to deny this this chance. Um, and now there's actually no choice for white. This mosquito has to go down somewhere. Um, likely there's a pillbug around. So now you're gonna see some nice mosquito pillbug interaction. Um, very cool and very complicated to to calculate. Um, so I had I shift the pin here. The problem was that otherwise the ant would have been warped in by the mosquito. Of course, white always has to be careful here because. Um, is also taking the wrong kill spot, right? So the white queen is also almost surrounded. So we have to be careful. I shift the ant here just in case. Um, the mosquito warps the pill bug in. Um, there might have been other choices, but I'm not sure. Well, you could have warped the pill bug uh, in here or uh, the ladybug uh, out somewhere. So the idea is to rearrange the pieces around. Um, and try to warp something in using the pillbug and the mosquito because there are no other places where the, the new pieces can come in play basically. Um, what they so they play uh, this move? Yeah. The problem again is that uh, they basically do me they do me a favor, so uh, I'm taking a kill spot from white. Um, so what I did is just to go straight in with the beetle. Um, the, look at the pillbug is choked now. Luckily, the pillbug can be extracted by the mosquito. The, that's the only move um, available. Otherwise, I come in uh, with the ant and and I win. Well, there is also a chance to go out with the ladybug here. Um, but I had um, I had thought about something similar and probably after this one. Um, well, no, I still not win because the pillbug can extra be extracted here, but um, I could simply play something like this. And uh, um, I don't see how white can win. Um, I'm not sure I can win either, but um, at, at least I feel safe. Um, so instead, white warped the pillbug away. Uh, and now I pull the, the mosquito in so that the next move I can cover it with um, with a beetle and uh, I, um, I avoid some extra tactical uh, options let's say um, the the ladybug rearranges here the um, the threat is just coming in with the mosquito and taking the last kill spot uh, of course I can reply with in a few different ways I think this one was the most accurate First, because now my pillbug is stuck here and cannot be moved anywhere, but I can move the pillbug um, here when needed, uh, at least for now. I, indeed, white used the new uh, spawn point to anchor the pillbug there. Um, again, I try to take away all the spawn points possible. There is a new one here, but it's not clear what um, what a grasshopper here would 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 achieve since the angle of attack is not very good it could create um, a ring here but again also the hopper number one doesn't go really anywhere safe um, the opposite the, this 
hopper will actually go into a uh, like the kill spot of white itself so um so white decides to uh again rearrange the pieces with the ladybug um here mm, the idea is just to free the white ant uh, although i'm skeptical that the white ant would actually give more chances than ladybug um but probably white wants some more spawn points from the outside although i i think here at the very least i should get a draw um but i could even play for more for instance what i do here is just block everything okay the ant can't go out the ladybug of course can move again um and this white hopper as we said is not dangerous actually it makes me a favor um Although the, he also frees the white beetle at the same time, so it, it might have been actually an option. Um, but I'm afraid that after um, after something like this, uh, now I have checkmate in one, well, uh, hive mate in one. Uh, and now, um, do I? No, actually, this is actually fine for uh, um, for for white. So maybe it could have been another option, but yeah, as you see, it's very complicated because you always have to calculate how the pill bug can extract other pieces. Um, so white doesn't go for this ring and actually place another hopper. But now I think, uh, well, after pinning this hopper, I have uh, a winning move. I think. Placing the pill back here um, is the winning move. The pill back here is almost completely surrounded. Uh, as you see, I don't uh, change the number of kill spots taken for me, so I just move it from one kill spot to the other. So white still has to fill two spots, but there's only one piece available. Um, and at the same time, I actually threatening to take this kill spot here, northwest of the white queen, and then the very last move. Uh, no, actually, sorry, uh, the other way around. First, taking this this um, this spot here, and then the last one would be this one. Okay. Okay. So um, after this move, then I have actually uh, the winning move, which is oh no, I I I shift the pin. I probably could have oh no, I could, oh, of course um, white is threatening to win in one move. Uh, moving the, the hopper in, in here uh, so clearly I have to um, defend first um, white can move the ladybug around uh, sure but uh, after this move the interesting thing is white doesn't have any uh, available piece that can reach this um, this kill spot for me right um, but at the same time I threaten uh, to win in one move take this spot and the, the pill bag is completely surrounded so um, white tree creates a gate but likely I have three grasshoppers left and I have two good angles of attack this one white pins the hopper and this one well it, it, I could have also um, made a fill and then the hopper can get in um, but yeah any case so i think this was a quite cool game to show how extreme can go the um, the, the control of the outer hive against uh, uh inner hive game um hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know if there are other games I, you would like me to analyze uh, otherwise i'll come back next week with the new games bye